Hey everyone, it's Cass. Uh, long time no see. <laughs> I am here today with a review of a pen that I recently got. This is the Leuchtturm Dragraful Gel Pen in Lilac. So I um, did break my no-buy for this if you have seen that video or knew that I was trying to not spend money this year. Um, one of my main things was just not buying pens. I I broke that and I bought a pen. <laughs> Uh, it was only $24.95, so like right at $25 on Amazon, so it didn't break the bank, definitely. I definitely could have gone a lot harder than this, but uh, I, I was I was pretty okay with the fact that this was um, not super expensive. But I was, I was just having some issues, and I impulse purchased uh, this pen. But I really like it. I don't regret it. I would absolutely buy it again. I'm really enjoying it uh, way more than the ballpoint version I have of this, which I have reviewed in the past. It's been a while, but I'll do that over back. This is the ballpoint that I reviewed quite a while ago. Um, you can look, or I guess I'll put a link to this in the description box below um, if you want to watch that. So anyway, <laughs> this is the packaging for the gel pen. It is the same as the ballpoint, except it's a gel. I threw the ballpoint box away a long time ago though. So, and I have already opened this and used it. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Uh, the packaging is really nice. This is really, really unique. I like that it's triangular. Number one gel. And then there's the pen. It does have a little flap here that is closed when you first get it. So here's the pen. This is part of their new Smooth Colors collection. So it has this purple. It also has like a soft pastel yellow, a green, and a tealish dark blue. Maybe not dark blue, like a, a medium blue. I don't know. But anyway, I was, I was drawn to the lilac. And again, this is a gel pen, so not a ballpoint. And the bodies are the same, actually. I'm pretty sure the innards are the exact same as well. You can just swap these refills. So this is the ballpoint. This is the gel. They sell them um, as just ballpoint pens or just gel pens, but you can swap them. So if you have a ballpoint already, and I'm sure you probably would already know this because I'm, you know, if you're super into pens, I'm sure you look up refills and stuff. But there's lots of different types of refills that can go in here. Uh, well, it's like the G, the Parker G2 style, I believe, but you can get like gel or rollerball or ballpoint in that style. So you can have different types in here, we'll say. So you can definitely mix it up. I think that's really good about this pen is that you can use a lot of different types. It's not a propi proprietary type of refill. Thank goodness. I really, I'm really glad that Lloyd's Tim went in that direction. Uh, but anyway, so it is a lovely, lovely lilac color. It is even prettier in person than it is online. I was very pleasantly surprised when I opened this pen because it is gorgeous. And it's got slightly raised writing here in white. The, the brand and the model. Uh, the pen is made of aluminum. I'm pretty sure the website said. And then this is brass, the tip up here, which it will darken over time. So this is the ballpoint again. You can see that this is much darker. I'm really looking forward to this pen darkening like this one. I think that's going to look really beautiful. And this was just with time. I, I really didn't use this pen a lot. I used it a lot when I first got it, but then I kind of just fell off of it. So this just happened while it was sitting in a box. So excited for that to happen. It is very comfortable to hold. It's only 10 grams with the refill in here, so it's very lightweight. But again, because it's a gel pen, you don't have to press as hard to get the ink to flow. So you're not gonna get as much hand fatigue if that's something that you have a problem with, um, with like ball points or roller balls or gel pens or whatever. So it refills in the back here, just like the ball point, you just twist the end off and then it pops out. And then the refill comes out. This is what it comes with. It, um, on the web, the Leuchtturm website, it said it comes with a blue refill. I bought mine off Amazon. It came with a black refill, uh, which is not a big deal. I mean, blue or black, it doesn't matter really. Uh, and they, they did advertise, or I remember when I was looking up the pen before I bought it, that they were really focusing on the fact that this was like a Japanese made refill. 
but it, I mean, it writes fine. It's not any more special, I think, than any other gel refill I've used. It's, it's pretty average. It writes nicely, it's, but it's not anything like mind blowing. It has the spring here that does come off. I will not take it off though. I do have a piece of tape here on the refill because with this pen, when you write with it, this opening here is a little wide, so the refill will click against the side of this anytime you like press down. It is very annoying to me. I did discuss that in my um, Sailor Pro Gear ballpoint review video, if you watch that, how that really irritates me. But I found that I could solve that problem by wrapping a really thin piece of tape or a short piece of tape around here to add just a tiny amount of bulk or the girth here. So it just, it doesn't click against there when I write. So that solved that issue for me. It doesn't bother me because I fixed it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, you just twist it. Quick, easy. So I'm going to do a writing sample now. Um, and I'm going to compare it with the ballpoint um, refill. And I'm having to press much harder with this one. This one's way more uncomfortable to write with just because I have to press way harder. And you don't get as uh, consistent of a line, of course, with the ballpoint as you do with the gel. Uh, the gel refill in this can skip uh, and hard start a little bit, but it's not a huge issue to me. See, there you go. It can hard start sometimes. But it, it really doesn't happen so much that like I have a problem with it gel pens, I'm a little more forgiving than I am with fountain pens in terms of that stuff. So here's really light pressure. You can see the skipping here. Here's average pressure. And here's hard pressure. And this is Cosmo Air Light paper. This is what I use every day to journal and take notes in and things like that. So that's the writing sample and the comparison with the ballpoint. Uh, I obviously vastly prefer the gel refill over the ballpoint. I will eventually try to get a rollerball refill for this pen. I do prefer rollerballs over gel refills or gel pens. Um, but this refill works well enough right now and I'm not going to spend the money on a refill that I don't absolutely need right now. I'll do that if this runs out, but for now I'm okay with the gel refill, but I do prefer rollerball refills. And I, I should be able to find one because that um, the refill type it takes is fairly common. And I know it comes in um, different different types, like gel, ballpoint, refill, all that. So I'll do that when the time comes. Uh, but for now I'm very, very happy with this pen. It's very comfortable. Uh, let's do some comparison some size comparisons. So it is a smaller pen and thinner. Let's put the logo on top. So here is a Safari, Alami Safari, much girthier, taller. Here is, I'm just grabbing pens I have on my desk off to the side. There's Alami 2000. Um, a Sailor 1911 Standard. Uh, Pilot Prera. This is the pen I've been using the most lately. Um, a Twisby Eco. This one's quite a bit bigger. But the pen is still wide enough here that it's comfortable for me to write with. So, yeah. I'm very happy with this pen. I'm really glad I bought it. Looks nice. I can't wait for that tip to darken. It's going to look so beautiful. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.